our current auction, we are blessed with five fantastic late works by Tom Roberts. Now, this is an artist who I don't think there'd be any dispute is probably the most important artist that Australia has produced. I think it's a big call. I know it's a big call. There'll be, there'll be arguments in pubs about that. But if you consider that the person, the gallery curator, the gallery director that has Shearing the Rams and asked him if he'd swat, swap it for any other painting in Australian art, and I don't think you'd get a, you'd get a swap. You, that is the key monument of Australian art. And Roberts produced maybe half a dozen paintings uh, that are the foundation of his reputation. So it's Bailed Up and Shearing the Rams and, and a few others. They're well known. They're icons of Australian art. In 1901, Roberts was commissioned to produce the painting of the opening of the first Parliament of Australia. He painted this picture over a three-year period, uh, at the end of which it kind of almost, he was buggered. He wanted to establish himself in London. And of course, Roberts is an Englishman. He was born in England and spent most of his very earliest days in England. And he came to Australia to establish himself as a young man. So living in London was not an unlikely place for him. What was unlikely is that he comes back to Australia in 1923 and he suddenly realises that this is actually where he should have been all the time and this is where he actually is able to look at the Australian landscape and suddenly understand that this is actually a subject that he should devote more energy and effort to. So in spite of the fact that he's widely regarded as having gone into his shell, almost like a hermit and, and reclusive, Roberts is actually quite busy and quite happy working away, uh, painting what amounts to um, a large number of quite small and quite unobtrusive, but absolutely perfect little paintings of the Australian bush. Of the five paintings by Roberts, we have uh, the first of them is actually painted in, in England, in Dorset, um, and it embodies these kind of whistlering, uh, whistlerian characteristics. It's a very limited colour palette. It's almost a tonal, completely tonal and very minimalistic picture, and it sets the scene for the kind of paintings that Robert did when he came back to Australia. The four other paintings were all painted around the mid to late 1920s and uh, very close to each other in date. Uh, they're Australian subjects. And you'll just see the qualities of Roberts as a painter. He's got this, he's captured the subject, but uh, you'll see this collection of Roberts' paintings indicates that it wasn't only bailed up and shearing the rams that, uh, that uh, Roberts uh, can claim uh, to put him on the map. These late landscapes are a major contribution to Australian art, very discreetly done, and, but very beautifully done too.